Hi and welcome to part 10 of how to build an e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. Today I'm going to go through these six tasks. I'm going to fix the upload problems, fix the image URLs, I'm going to add product pictures in the categories, I'm going to fix the problem I had with the get total cost, I'm going to show messages in the product when I add a cart, and I'm going to change something in the Django admin interface. First thing I want to begin with is the upload problem. So if I go to store and models, this should just say uploads like that. And that's it, what I have to do here. And then I'm going to go to settings and just see that everything is correct here. Yes, that looks okay. So if I save now, so now I can go to my uploads folder, which should be located inside the media. I can just delete there, so I don't have anything inside the media folder. And also nothing on the outside. So if I now go to the admin interface, go to a product, go to the lamp, scroll down, choose file, Select the lamp, save. Now I only have the uploads folder here with two files. If I go to the front page, I don't have the image there yet, so I'm going to fix that. I just want to set this to done, because now I'm going to fix these two. The category and the front page. Actually, this should say product detail and front page can begin with the front page.html. Instead of saying this, I want to include .url. Refresh, and now I see that picture. Okay, and then I want to do the same on the product detail page. .url. If I visit the pro product, you will see this product picture is there. So that means that it's finally working as it should. I'm sorry if you had any problems with this. And save. The product pictures should also be added to the category detail page. As you can see, I don't have any pictures there yet. So this can be copied from the front page. Like that. So if I now go to sports, no, computer, you'll see the picture there. Perfect. So now everything with the picture should be ready and working. The next thing I had a little bit problem with was this get total cost because there was an error and I had a try catch, but one of my subscriber pointed out to me how I could fix this. So thanks Willy Wonka. So if I just scroll up and find cart.py, I can do this, this, and then I can just iterate over self. So if I save now, refresh, I can add the product to the cart, and I don't have this problem any longer. So. That's working as it should now. Perfect. So that is done. So then I want to make it possible to show a message when you add a product to the cart. So inside the data array in the product detail page, I say show message false. And below the button here, div class message p. Actually, I can go to Bulma and just copy a message from there. Div class article message like that. And I only want the body. The product was added to the cart, like that. 
v if show message so if this is true this here will show so if i refresh now inside a product you won't see it because we haven't set this to true yet i can set this down here this dot show message equals true save so if i now add this you'll see the product was added to the cart perfect and then i can say is success because we want it to be green and maybe it should disappear after a couple of seconds so down here i can say set timeout create a fat arrow function this dot show message equals false it can can take 2000 milliseconds we can try it again and there it's gone perfect so then i can set this to done as well but before i continue i want to say thank you to my first patreon frederick roland thank you so much for the support if anyone else wants to become a patron for code it's time i will add a link in the description below and the next thing i want to do is to make some changes in the django in admin interface the first thing I want to do is to add two more fields to the order model. So below the payment intent, I want to create one shipped date. So I can keep track of when it's shipped. I can copy this because I want it to be a date time field. Blank equals true, null equals true, because we don't want to set it when we create the order. And I want the status equals models dot char field. And I want to make it possible to select between a few options. So I can begin with them up here. And I can say ordered equals ordered like that. Shipped. Shipped arrived status choices create a tuple and a tuple in here ordered ordered shipped shipped arrived arrived you'll see more of this in just a couple of seconds. So now when I have these variables set up, I can copy this. Set the max length here to 20. Choices equals status choices. Default equals default ordered like that. So when I create a new order, it will be automatically set to ordered and then we can save and update the database make migrations and migrate i can just run the server again and then i can go to the admin file here first i want to import date time and i want to import a reverse function for the url resolvers from django.core.url resolvers import reverse below here i want to create a function called def order name obg return Create a string as as like that object dot first name. So I'm going to pass in an order in here. Object dot last name. Order name 
dot short description name i will show you how to use this in just a couple of seconds if i below here say class order admin admin dot model admin list display id order name and when we created it what is created at just copy order admin paste it down there and save so if i now go to the admin interface oops there is something wrong urls it's probably just the url resolver like that no okay this was very old code obviously like that where did i get that code from so now home and orders you will see the id here the name of the person who ordered and when it was created so i want to add some more things to this page like filters so if i say here list filter created at and status if i save now refresh i can filter this based on the status and when it was created i can also add a search here search fields equals first name and the address you can add whichever fields you want there but if you refresh now you will have a search bar up here if i search stein i will get this order but the next thing I want to do to make it possible to show inside one of the orders which items they ordered. To do this, I need to create something called the order inline. So above here, I say class order item inline admin dot tabular inline model equals order item row fields row id fields product like that and down here i say inlines equals order item inline so we can now test this so if i scroll down here you will see that i ordered the lamp, the price and the quantity and similar. I can also add more products here if it's, that should be necessary. So then I want to make it possible to change the status by using an action up here. So if I below this function say def admin order shipped model admin i guess it should be this sorry request query set and then i want to loop through the orders for order in query set order dot shipped date equals date time dot date time dot now order dot status equals order dot shipped order dot save and return and then i need to include this below here actions admin order set no admin order shipped like that and i just need to set the description admin order dot short description equals set shipped so if i refresh now there is something wrong okay it actually 
actually was supposed to be model admin refresh if I check this set shipped go if I now go in here the status should be shipped perfect but we should also make it possible to see the status out here status like that save refresh and now we will see the status here so if I click ship there I will only see the orders which are shipped and that was it for this part I hope you enjoyed it and that you will come back to the next part where I'm going to make it possible to deploy this project to a server see you next time